just uh, on this itself, Blockbuster debut, then uh, Siddharth, let's get your initial uh, comments on CSB. Yeah, good morning. Uh, the listing has been phenomenal and uh, very strong as uh, we expected. In fact, uh, we expected the listing price to be uh, somewhere close to 250, but it has been uh, better than that. Uh, uh, let me tell you why we had given a subscribe rating uh, to the issue. Uh, no doubt uh, the bank uh, is uh, pretty small compared to other commercial banks uh, which are listed now, uh, even compared to the southeast uh, based banks. But uh, they are starting at a point where uh, they are very well capitalized and uh, uh, probably uh, capital is one of the biggest issue for most of the banks right now for the small sized banks and this is one area where uh, they really score very high compared to uh, other smaller banks and that is what has probably attracted a lot of investors to, uh, to this issue and that's why you are seeing this kind of you know, very strong uh, listing uh, particularly from this issue and also if you look at from a pure commercial bank this is probably a like you know, IP after a very long time because we have seen a lot of uh, other NBFCs or MFIs getting listed, but not banks. So normally, primary markets uh, attract a lot of investors, and that's what has happened. Now, uh, when you talk about uh, the interest level uh, at the issue price at uh, like you know 193 around, normally uh, the issue was uh, valued at 2.2 times on the uh, like you know uh, at the trailing book value. But if one extrapolates the growth numbers. Uh, which is visible to me uh, based on the management's capability. I think at the issue price, the stock was uh, kind of an offered at uh, below two times, so around 1.8 times on FI21 uh, basis. And that was something very attractive given that uh, they are starting at a point that you know they don't have a lot of legacy issues. Already they have cleaned up their book. So I think it's a very good start that you know uh, the bank is doing at a juncture and uh, that's why the stock is reacting very positively. Does it go from here? 50% subscribe rating for someone who's bought. Does it make sense to keep it for next two, three years? Can this be like a compounder from here also? Yeah, since the listing again has been so strong that possibly some amount of money will be taken out uh, by probably uh, the retail and HNI segment. But my sense is that, you know, uh, institutional investor would uh, stick to the idea because. Uh, uh, it can be a compounding story. Let us understand that their loan book is still at uh, around 11,000 11, crores right now, which is very small. Now, the business model also, what they have adopted is now, they don't want to go and compete with the large banks initially, and they have clearly uh, like you know, identified certain segments like gold loans to grow. And gold loan by nature is a very low risk, low NPA business with a high yield in nature. So I think you know if you are differentiating your business model, then market will certainly like it, and that's what is happening. So while retail investors, uh, I uh, cannot say they might take some of the money, but institutional investor, I feel would still uh, end up you know accumulating the stock because when you compare some of the other small banks, they are still uh, struggling to either grow or they are going through some legacy issues in terms of recognizing their uh, past assets and that is eating up a lot of their capital. But this bank uh, is starting or being listed at 22% capital adequacy, which leaves enough scope for growth for next two, three years. So naturally there is a like you know, visibility that growth is there and capital, uh, there won't be much of dilution and uh, it's a niche business they are trying to address. So. I'm very positive that uh, that uh, they will possibly be in a position to deliver uh, mid teens ROE by next uh, two years. So while on the forward basis also now at uh, let's say at the current price, uh, the valuation look very stiff uh, at uh, 2.5, 2.6 times around uh, on uh, adjusted book basis. But then if you look at the growth, what they are kind of you know had indicated possibly, uh, it makes a interesting story or it could be a compounding story. So. Uh, my suggestion would be that you know probably one should hold on to the stock also uh, partially for the longer period of time. The differentiated proposition of the bank is gold loan. So then why should one not buy Mannapuran or Muthud which is only gold loan? Yeah, 
Yeah, it's a good a good question. In fact, uh, uh, similar NBFCs with uh, gold loans are also trading at two and a half times around. Uh, uh, price to book but the key differentiating factor what i feel is that a gold loan company uh, cannot get into all the business what a uh, like you know bank can do and also the cost of fund will be a big differentiating factor in case of uh, csb i feel now a uh, nbfc any nbfc will have to raise money uh, at a higher rate normally and uh, while uh, csb's cost of fund also is still on a higher side but uh, there is a scope that they can still increase their kasha ratio it's still not very inter uh, like you know very uh, high as compared to other banks so naturally they will have an cost cost advantage compared to nbfcs now uh, when you talk about uh, other gold loans other gold loans will have to possibly uh, form a subsidiary to get into even other business like you know home finance or maybe you know commercial loans but as a commercial bank you that option is already ready with you so while i'm saying that you know the management also is highlighting that you know they intend to scale up their business in gold loan initially that doesn't restrict them from getting into other business so initially at the initial stage they would try to scale up their business in gold but uh, my understanding is that once the base becomes strong and they are kind of you know they have a feel of the market and the possibly the book uh, grows a little bit higher then they can uh, get into uh, like you know corporate also on a selective basis right okay so that great to have you on the show and get in your first thoughts in the csb listing which has sure enough been a bumper one at that even as we speak it's trading at a 50% pop to its issue price uh